One holding has made it crystal clear that they want to prioritize their direct-to-consumer business, meaning sales through their own stores or their website. I see that as the best strategy because it carries much higher margins and it makes the company less reliant on the success of other retailers. You don't want to be hostage, say, to Foot Locker if you could avoid it. Travel Trust owns Foot Locker, so I have to, it's, it's tough. So if On Holding wants to boost their direct-to-consumer business, of course they're going to expand less aggressively on the wholesale side. What else do you expect? Finally, I'm not worried about the seemingly cautious elements of On Guidance because I expect them to blow away their, their own forecast once again. These guys... This is what matters. These guys have beaten sales expectations in every quarter since they came public. That is nine quarters in a row. In fact, they've never beaten the consensus number by less than 5%. It sounds like Lululemon to me. So I feel pretty confident saying that On Holding is likely going to have a strong holiday season, allowing it to top its somewhat conservative forecast. In retrospect, I think all the hand wringing we saw on Tuesday will look downright silly, and not just because my wife has so many pairs of clouds that three of them are in my closet. Here's the bottom line. Don't be misled by Wall Street's confusing reaction to on holdings. The fast-growing footwear company reported a fantastic quarter with encouraging guidance. And I think the stock is a screaming buy when you remember how much it's pulled back over the past three months. As I see it, you're getting a terrific quarter for free. What's not to like? Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.